it was an ordinary day. I was just grabbing coffee with a friend and we were talking and my phone went off and I saw in the email line, it said Fulbright and I opened it and I read like the first two sentences and I was just, a jaw dropped. And I handed her my phone and I said, look, I need you to read this. I think I'm going to Taiwan, but I'm not sure. And she read it for me and she said, you absolutely are. I didn't even know what Fulbright was. I just knew the name was something that was very prestigious and it was a good thing, you know, to be a Fulbright. From what I understand of reading Fulbright's mission statement and going through the application process and all of that, I understand it as a opportunity to act as a cultural ambassador on behalf of the United States. I'll be teaching in a classroom alongside a Taiwanese teacher and so not only is it a chance for participants to act as an ambassador for America and be, you know, explaining and sharing about life in America, I also will be able to learn and understand firsthand what life is like in Taiwan. From the moment before I even stepped foot on this campus, they were promoting the community, the tight-knit community that is PBA. And it allowed me to go and take that community idea and that part of PBA to other parts of the world. I don't think I've ever had that much support from um, my fellow student body in anything that I've ever really done. So, I mean, it was overwhelming because I don't really care for that much attention, but I knew that they were all, and they were all, and still are, very sincere about it. People have always been pretty much my driving um, factor and influence in life. I take the command to love your neighbor. You know, I, I take that serious. This is me and this is how I live. And I hope that in doing that, it shows that those are the values that I live by.